hello everyone uh, how are you all uh, i hope you are doing extremely good so today let's solve this problem minimum operations to make a special number so first let's understand the question so here here you are you are given with an zero indexed string num representing a non negative integer in one operations you can pick any digit of num and delete it note that if you delete all the digits of num num becomes zero suppose if you have 2 3 4 if you delete 2 3 and 4 it will become zero not empty hmm? return the minimum number of operations required to make number special an integer x is considered special if it is divisible by 25 so divisible by 25 so if you know the divisibility rule of 25 what it states that last two digits should be divisible by 25 so 0 0 and 2 5 50 5, and 7 5 and 1 0 0 0 we are already included in 0 0 so we can exclude it so we have four digits we have four digits such that uh, the number is divisible by 25 or not so if you see this example Uh, double two two four five zero four seven. Ah, uh, what we are, what we can do two two four five zero four seven. We need to minimize the number of operations. To minimize the number of operations, we want this any of these four digits, any of these four ah uh, digits should come at the end. Should come at the end. In the last two digits, any of the these four digits should be present. So, uh, if you think, uh, first I will check with zero zero. Is zero zero is available in the uh, in the whole number? Uh, if you see zero zero is available, no right. Uh, if you see two five, two five is available. Yeah, two here and here two five is available. If we want to include this two and this five, we need to delete all these numbers towards this side. And two four we need to delete. So how many numbers we are uh, removing here? Total five numbers we are removing. Or else you can do this right. Five zero four seven. If I consider this two and this five, if you see we should uh, we should remove only these digits. So we are removing four digits. So minimum digits are four. And let's see if we uh, if it is two five we are removing this. If it is five zero. If it is five zero two two four five zero four, so if it is five zero, this is five zero. Here we are removing only two digits, so minimum number of deletions are two. If it is seven five, if it is seven five, seven five is not there, so we should delete all the digits. So what it is saying, if we delete all the digits. Then the number becomes zero. If it is becomes zero, then we can say that is divisible by twenty five. If it is, if you want to make the number to divisible by seventy five, we have to delete all these digits. If we delete, we will get the answer as seven. So here we can say that the minimum number of operations we have taken is two. We have taken is two. So let's understand what what exactly we have done here. The minimum operations we are five, and here the minimum of operations we are four. When it is divisible by twenty five. Now, if you see, we can come from the right side. If we come from the right side, and we will check whether five is present or not. If it is five is present, we will note down that index. We will note down that index. Then we will come towards the right side. Then we will check immediate two, not the leftmost two. Immediate two. If the immediate two is present, we will consider that index, and we will remove these digits, and we will remove in between digits, and we will calculate operations. For these four scenarios, we will do the same. So, how we can do that? Suppose if you see this, ah, uh, two, two, four, five, zero, four, seven. Total, how many digits we have? We have seven digits, right? Ah, uh, and suppose we can consider zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have this position is valid and this position is valid. So we need to remove 
this three digits how we can do that we have total seven seven so we, we need a index seven minus three seven minus three minus one uh -huh. we can do this if you consider this as a and if you consider this as b and if you consider whole length as n whole length as n then we can do n minus a plus b right n minus a plus b plus we need to remove this as well right a minus b plus 1 3 minus b plus 1 means 1 plus 1 is 2 3 minus 2 is 1 so we have with only 1 so this would be our formula so let's understand this code so if you see the code it is pretty straightforward so first we will take a as an answer uh, sorry i could have changed the variable to answer so a is our answer and we are iterating if we are getting uh, any of the zeros any of the zeros suppose we have say one two three and zero now if you see if you delete these three digits we will get only zero right though so the answer will be n minus one now because 20 is not divisible by 25 30 is not divisible 10 is not divisible in that way if we have we don't have 0 1 2 3 4 if we don't have 0 the answer would be n we should remove all the digits to make the digit 0 so now here we will check for 0 0 2 5 5 0 and 7 5 we are sending it as a string and into a solve function and we have size and we are iterating i is equals to n minus 1 j is equals to 1 because let's say it's the same example 2 2 4 2 2 4 5 0 4 7 if you are checking for 25 and we have 25 we have sent this to first we will check first we will check uh, j will be starting at this position and I will be starting from this position and we will come towards the left side and we will check until and unless this phi and phi will get matched we will push that index we will push that index and we will decrease j so then j will come over here and same thing I if it is not matching I will go to the left side and now if i and j still matches still matches if it is comes to if it is matching so we will push and if j is equals to minus 1 j is now, now at 0 and it will come over here and now index will be minus 1 we will break it down if v dot size is less than 2 v dot size less than 2 means we could not able to find the 2 phi index then v dot size will be either 0 or either it will be 1 if it is 2 we will calculate or else we will directly return the maximum because we don't care that is in our answer then a b then a b then we are subtracting if you see this formula n minus a plus 1 so if we if we complete that what we will get n minus a minus 1 i have done the same thing n minus 1 minus a n minus 1 minus a and same with this a minus b minus 1 a minus b plus 1 a minus b minus 1 in this we want the minimum and we are returning the a if you see the time complexity if you see the time complexity it will be like order of size of s into 4 that's it and the space complexity would be same order of size of s i think you have understood this solution if you understood this please like and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching